five products I've got from Daiso. Giveaway details at the end. So the first product will be Balance Tower. This game is for ages 6 and up. Okay, so this is a tower. And uh, this game is for 2 to 4 players. Uh, because they're small parts, you know, it's not for children under 3 years. So let's take a look at the rules at the back. Uh, the rules goes like this. You build the tower as shown in the figure. Divide the figurines evenly between all players. Decide what order to play in. Roll the dice. Place the figurines on the tower according to the rules. If the tower wobbles and figurines fall off, the player who unbalanced the tower has to pick them up. So the first player to have no figurines left wins. Okay, based on the dice, if you roll 1, you have to give a figurine to another player. If you roll 2, you have to put a figurine on the green level. So 3 will be red level, 4 will be blue level, 5 is the orange level, and 6, you lose a turn. So let's open it up and see this product. So um, let's assemble this. Okay, so this is over here. Uh, there are grooves over here, so let's try to put it in. Okay, then followed by the green one, followed by the yellow one. And the red one. Okay, so that's the top. Okay, let's see if it, it stands on its own first. Yep, okay, this is good. So, as you can see, the tower on its own is really wobbly. Okay, so let's take out the figurine and try it out. Okay, so these are the figurines over here that you're supposed to divide. I think the colors don't really matter. Mm, if you want, you also can because it really depends on how many players are playing. So, there are four different colors here and there's a dice that's provided in here. So what you do is um, you roll the dice. Okay, oops, it went off camera. So you roll a three. So um, three corresponds to putting a figurine on the red level. So I'll take a figurine that's assigned to me, and I'll put it on the red level carefully. Let's see. Okay, that's great. And then you roll the dice again. Oh, three again. So put another figurine on the red one basically it's supposed to be the next player's turn you put it there and you roll the dice again now this time right so five a uh, five is on the orange level so you take your figurine assigned to you and put it on the orange level put it very carefully making sure you don't knock the other things down so let's just try to keep going and put you know more of these figurines you let's say for example it's red let's put it in green oops okay carefully want to Put in blue. Yep, it's so far so good. Oops. Oh no. Okay, okay, still thing, but everything is fine. Let's see if I put it here. It seems pretty stable somehow. Maybe because oh, okay. Maybe because I've been putting on the red one. Maybe should, oh yes, okay, there's some drop over here. So um the player who made the figurines drop. We then have to collect these figurines. So you keep um, passing the turns to each other, and then until you know one of the player have no more figurines, and that's how you decide who actually wins. So it's a fun game for the family from two to four players. You can actually try out with your kids, and uh, this actually trains their balancing skills, their precision skills on how to put you know the figurines. And it's not only for kids, but I think it's also fun for anyone of any age because as you uh, um, older, I believe all the players also gets you know better in playing this. So it's a fun game. Okay, so this is the first product. You know, it's called Balance Tower. Yeah, it's pretty good. The plastic over here. Okay, it's just cheap plastic, but see, yeah, it's a human. Yeah. So okay, this is the first the first product from Daiso. Okay, so let's let's go on to the next product. Okay, let me put this aside first. Okay. Okay, the second product I'm going to show you will be this. Okay, I don't know how to read this. Uh, basically, it's this flying thing. Uh, let's take, take a look at the back. Yeah, it's all in Japanese. Um, 
recommended age is six and above so let's uh, take this out you know and try it out let me just show it to you okay so what you have is this over here and this stick and also this uh, I mean small small object over here so what you need to do is put this in you also uh, put this plate in okay and then after you let it let it go go down let it spin down okay so after you reach to the bottom what you can do is you can push this to lift it up okay as fast as possible and as you do so because it caused the round this to spin it can actually cause it to fly you're right so you do it fast enough right you'll fly like this i'll just do it lightly but yeah you, you get the idea so if you do it fast enough it will fly and uh, i think it will fly quite high pretty high not sure how high you'll go let me just put it in again yeah not sure how high you'll go but i think it'll be pretty fun for your kids to try it out yeah on on this so this is a simple toy you know that your kids can play outdoors you know just push it as hard as possible and make it spin as fast as possible right so this is the second product a toy i got from daiso not sure what's the english name there's no english name over here so yeah this is the second one okay let's go on to the third one okay, let me put, put this aside okay let me go to the third one the third one is this petite block um this is a parrot a scarlet macaw Okay, so this okay this is really not for small kids this is actually for age 12 and above uh, let's let's open it up and take a look what's inside okay so there's a base over here these are all the mini lego and there's an instruction sheet Okay, so the the lego is pretty small so it's a step-by-step -step instruction sheet on how you can build the parrot out so let me just take out some of it yeah, as you can see these blocks are really really small right so you can stack them on top of each other like that right um it is not like the usual lego whereby you know all these small parts you can actually i mean you could use your imagination to do something else but the whole objective of this would be to follow the instructions and then you can build up you know the parrot over here the scarlet macaw right um and and i have tried this before uh, but although it looks simple to do it looks pretty small but when you do it you know sometimes it can take quite some time uh, to get it out and this if let's say for example you have a, a kid that is uh, 12 years and above it trains their patience and not only for kids but as an adult you can try it out i think it's pretty therapeutic you know as you slowly piece everything together and see how it comes together you know level by level right you actually piece out the whole parrot over here so you can try it out okay so i think it'll be pretty fun okay so let's so this is number three petite block i think it's a uh, good for therapeutic you know for you to unwind okay i'll put it inside later okay it's good for you to unwind and you know relax while you do this definitely will require some patience but at the end of it all the good thing is you can actually you know have something you know at the, you, you can actually display this parrot somewhere in your house you know and it actually beautify your house so that's the that's the end result that we want to have okay so there's the third third one the fourth product will be magic king witnessing the big card strike okay so uh the this is magic basically after getting this you will see you will tell your audience whichever card you choose i know which for sure right so the instruction goes like this you show them three cards and then you can um, predict you know what cards they actually have chosen so let's let's open it up okay 
Um, you know, oh, I saw this. Wait, let's see. So inside this tab, if you open it up, it actually says, practice this trick to perform skillfully. Do not reveal the secret of the trick to anyone. And I think most importantly is do not show the same trick twice. Actually, I've opened it up, you know, to take a look, you know, how, how, how does it work? Can I show you on camera? But um, after looking at the instructions, it's pretty basic. Um, so I wouldn't spoil the magic, you know, in front of the camera, uh, but you could. So what, what do you have? You have these three cards over here. You have number one, number two, and number three. And you tell, you know, the audience will say, can you pick one card? And the whole objective is for you to be able to review, you know, to say that I've already predicted what, you know, you have chosen. So if you really want to try out this trick, <clears throat> you can actually choose, you know, to win this, win this product over here, you know, and I'll give it to you so you can try it out. So I'm not going to review the trick over here, okay? So this is a, let me just show you the box once more. This is a Magic King box, um, which is to predict, you know, what your audience have chosen, okay? So this is number four. Right, now we come to the last product over here that I'm going to show will be the soft darts, two balls. This is for again, age six and above. And because it contains small parts, it's not for children under three years. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, so this is a soft board over here. And then this is a ball with Velcro. So you just throw and you stick, right? You can hang this with a hook somewhere. And then after you throw, yeah, bullseye. The good thing about this is because it's a ball, it's not a dart. You can actually hang it, you know, at any wall and you don't have to, you know, not like a normal dart. You have to uh, be afraid that the dart will actually poke holes onto the wall. So this is a ball and this is soft. So me have plastic over here. So it's pretty safe. And this trains, you know, your kids accuracy, you know, let them try. And because there's a score there, uh, there's some you know, elements of games you can play with your kids to see who, you know, have the highest score. And I think it's a good game for, you know, the whole family. And when your kid is bored, you know, they can actually pick it up to, to play it. Okay, so this is a product number five. Okay, it's called Soft Darts over here. Okay, let's see if there's any instruction at the back. Uh, this is just a warning, a uh, warning, warning symbol. Okay, so um, we've come to the end of the <coughs> video. So I'll give you some uh, giveaway details. Uh, let me just put this product back. Okay, so let me, uh, while I put it back, let me also explain the, uh, the, the giveaway details. So these products, um, know that these products I bought, uh, they, they are newly bought. And uh, I've just opened it up to show you. Uh, I will nicely put them all back. And we'll be, giving, we'll be giving away the same item that I had shown you. So note that it's not entirely new. It's new you know, at a point when I bought it. But I've opened it so, and no one else will touch it. Okay, so. In between now and then, you know, all of these are yours if you win it. Okay, so to take part, you know, you comment below with the number corresponding to the product you want to win. So first of all, let me show you all the products again. This is product number one. It's called Balance Tower over here. I'll put it here, number one. The second product that I've showed is this helicopter. I'll call it a helicopter um, wheel, I guess. If there's no English name for that, so I'll just call this a helicopter wheel. The third product will be this <clears throat> Petite Block Lego Okay, for you to win And the fourth one will be the Magic King Okay, so if you want to know, you know, how, you know, the, the tricks is being done you, know, you can choose this product And number five will be the Soft Dart Spot Okay, so can you put it here so to take part, you know, you just choose one product that you want to win, okay? So one user is only allowed to take part for one product. If you ever submit multiple comments, you know, we will actually take the latest comment to um, enroll you into the giveaway. So the giveaway is only open to people with a home address in Singapore and uh, the contest will end on 13th of February 2024-2359, one month from now. So um, do note, 
because uh, so again just to remind you on the rules again comment below based on the numbers that you want okay and then you'll be enrolled in the in the contest uh, but do know because youtube doesn't allow direct message so i will post the username of the winners and i will need you to contact me you know on my email i put it in the about page go to my channel the about page uh, contact me if you are the one that you have won i will do some verification to ensure that it is truly you so for those who don't often check back youtube you may also submit some information i have a google form in my description so that uh, if you ever win you know i can contact you in your preferred way to let you know you have win the, won the prize okay so in the event that i cannot contact the winner uh, i will actually roll over to the next person so we'll use some automatic um, picker to, to choose the winner all right so uh, that's all for this video so thank you for staying all the way to the end uh, good luck and I'll see you in the next video. See you.